downloaded icons oh that's the bad thing okay the format is killing me now so what I'm gonna do is um, I'll pause and try to download again okay so to carry on um, I've edited edited quite a, a number of um, code so this is basically the look of my project the login system working with the database we have that and um, just for the appearance a bit uh, add a picture box here and add an image add an image yeah I'll put this one okay okay that one beautiful right <laughs> so clear like that and also go to my main form here and add <coughs> add an image um, I'll put the user Kim Yong -hee. yeah he's Korean <laughs> yep that's more like it top on the center right there so basically I have two forms in my project for my project on my project I don't know so I have two project two two forms rather and I've worked with a uh, quite a number of things but the main objective of my tutorial was just to show you um, just to show you this main code the code that one can use to um, to validate and check whether uh, entered given credentials can grant a person a user um, access to the rest of the system or can deny uh, access to the rest of the system so like uh, what I once highlighted I had um, my database there uh, my database there so what I'll do is um, okay so in my database I'll just show you some of the members of my database people who can log in so I'll just say select all from user which is my table select all from user so I have admin and admin I have four rows as you can see which means I have two rows with empty spaces so I believe I should be able to log in with empty uh, empty credentials for which I, I created those roles mistakenly and also I have the user uh, Tadiwa with the password low so to try it out I'll enter you can see my icon there so beautiful I'll enter uh, just anything at random and the password then um, click on logon see access is denied and then the fields are, cre uh, are cleared so I'll enter um, admin um, and then give a random password and access will be denied everything will be cleared out so like well I say in my database the two rows with empty spaces so if I try let me try to log in with and the empty spaces I can't why because I validated the system not to accept empty spaces from um, a user a user has to log in with certain credentials so what I'm gonna do is I'll log in with admin uh, let me see the, the password so it's username it's for admin 
and the password is admin so I'm going to use that admin ok login access will be granted the user uh, exists within the database they exist in the database and the password for that user matches uh, the given password so the credentials on the form on this form matches those within the database so we can work with that then access granted and uh, I did quite a few code in here uh, uh, background process to collect all of my data sorry about that uh, a bit of animation yes um, uh, but I'm not gonna show you the code except if you request for it then I'll show you so we'll have to wait a bit oh I love the animation don't you because I really do so since the access been granted uh, I believe we should move to the next form after this uh, background pro process runs okay okay Okay, yeah, voila. Our next form of peace and scared that chai Korean rather the Korean guy here. Uh such a beautiful little picture. So I just added a manuscript with a quite a few things. Most of them uh I uh I worked on how to update the password for user and we also worked on how to add users so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add uh, the credentials for this guy yeah right now he's saying I should add him so what happens I have two group boxes and both of them on the form load they are deactivated I just couldn't think of better way but I know there are greater better ways I could have done it but uh to conserve time I had to do just the quick one and you see that I didn't even do the validation for the password and the confirmation of the password text boxes so what I'm just gonna do is I'm going to add Kim Kim Young right Kim and then the password's gonna be um what should I say the password's gonna be Luke and then look oh, I'm sorry look yeah then voila a message box appears it tells me that the user has been added all the pimping you can do everything else just like what I show what I um, highlighted in my previous tutorials you can maybe um, uh, clear the fields fields after clear these text boxes after what after um, a user has been successfully aided so to verify if a user has been successfully aided I'll just rerun the previous command we should expect um, a role a record with uh, the username Kim and the password look so as you can see Kim look they have been aided in my database so if we have um, Maybe we can add a little bit more. No, oh, oh, we, we can just leave it like that. So, from my database, we have admin admin and then tadiwa low kim dot look. So, I've also um, combined uh, some of the uh, areas that I covered in my previous tutorials. So, uh, I will also update a password for for 
sorry admin so change password click on change password and then the group box becomes active yeah I know it's it's not that perfect but I hope it works out well so if you remember from our database we have the user admin having the password admin so what I want to do is update that to kill K I L L I believe uh, K I L L uh, not meaning the violent thing just uh, referring to kill the killing the code yeah you know so I update message box pops up telling me uh, the password has been updated for that specific person go back to my database then uh, hopefully the password has been uh, updated and yeah you can see it's admin and then the password is now kill so if I get it close this form and uh, run the program again I run the program again admin a d m i n and then the password admin again a d m i n then login access will be denied why because the password has been updated uh, in the database it's now kill so uh, the program now uh, expect the user admin to enter the new password so I'm just going to say kill K I L L and then access will be granted and then the process will start start over again uh, and now um, you can see the rest of the things you can be creative on your own get creative explore a lot of things and you can always ask me you can always ask Google read more books mm. check for more tutorials as you can see like my application right now I managed to most of the people some of the people or some of the people though they find it difficult to add icons and add pictures without leaving out maybe that white backgrounds and stuff just just ask if you want to then uh, maybe I can make a tutorial on that and you can see my program on the task bar as the icon the happy face it doesn't have that uh, visual basic um, a, a default icon it's quite a good icon uh, those are the, some of the things that the program a working program can be expected to be having so not saying that you know, if if your program doesn't have it it will be bad no I'm just saying for good presentation something to differentiate your work with uh, I think placing icons pictures will be good for you so this just the system over and over again so well I can say uh, I'm almost paying up my 30 minute tutorial and obviously I'm just gonna split this into two I'm sorry for that I thought I was gonna make everything short but I guess we gotta work with what is what is there so basically this is the code and I believe I'm just going to insert it I hope I won't forget I'm just going to insert it um, on the description under my video my YouTube video so you get to check it uh, so YouTube thanks for watching